so let's have a look at my buy hole installation on my screen i have my records as you can see it, everything is working fine uh, i'm getting queries and they are getting blocked out i have a good number of domains on my ad list although we can increase that but this one just works fine for me i don't care much about that because when we increase the block list too much everything useful gets keeps getting blocked out and we have to just go back and forth between different networks okay so i have been using this raspberry pi as my pi hole server for about six months now and there there isn't any issue with that but recently i have moved on to using true nas scale as my primary nas server and i have installed a few apps that i that i think are pretty useful and pi hole is one of them so for about a month now i have been using my true nas scale server as my pi hole server and there is one big advantage for doing so if you already have true nas scale it reduces a lot of cable clutter so this is my true nas setup which sits in my closet it's very cluttered but everything works out fine because i do not have to touch anything that often so if you have true nas scale just install pihole and you may get rid of a few cables as of now i haven't seen any downsides or advantages in either of them so you can go either way they both work pretty fine the installation process is pretty straightforward all you need to do is just um, go to your app section and install pihole but instead of using the default apps i usually go for the true charts version if you don't know what true charts is you can just google it up and add it to your repository it basically gives you the same app but with some more added features okay so here i have my true nas scale and i'll just log in and as you keep as you can see in the app section that i have uh, two apps next cloud and pihole so i'm using the true chart version of both the apps just to demonstrate the installation process i'll install a new pihole so i'll this time i'll go with the official version so that it doesn't conflict with the previous one and let's see let's say anything okay it needs a password easy next so our web portal will be on port number 20720 that's what we need to keep in mind when we are trying to access it that's it we'll just go with the default settings and in here i'll 20 720 i'll change this to and it takes just a little bit time to get installed and deployed but should be relatively okay okay i think it's working now so we can access it as we can see there are no queries uh, no nothing nothing in here and that's because i'm using another version of pihole as my default dns that's it the installation process is very very easy and the only thing we need to do is to change our default dns server to the ip address of true nas scale which we can do in our router I'm using open open wrt if you are using something else you might want to double check things again i'll change my dns in the lan section this is very specific to my configuration but if you have something else you can try different things and if if you want to use pihole server only for a mobile device or on and on your ipad or something you can change it in your wi-fi settings as well so in advance i have put in the ip address of metro nas scale and that's how it works it's very straightforward reduces some clutter that's it if you have any version of true nas scale it's definitely recommended you must try it